All right, so we're going to start our lesson today with October 8th video from the YouTube. And whoever wants to go first, you can go first. Jimmy, I'm going to go first because I'm at the nail shop. And okay. I, I, I don't, I don't want to, I can't move my hands right now. That's fine. Okay. Hold on for one second. All right. What I Did got you out remember of this message, it? Okay, go ahead. I wrote it down. I wrote it down. Okay. Um, what I got out of that message was that people don't practice God because of laziness. Mm -hmm. um, little things will put you in a chokehold. Uh, and when you don't repent, you feel the sting. Yes. And I feel that sting all the time. <laughs> and no more being stuck on the um, stinking, stinking. Yes. Um, our spirits are definite. Well, my spirit is definitely being renewed. Yes. And um, no more dried up dead bones. Uh, we have to get delivered and, and not be stuck. And get the strongholds off. Um, Amen. Our spirit is being renewed. Yep. And we have to meditate on our word. On the yeah. word. Yep. And that fasting uh, is a must to have your spirit, you know, renew. Yes. And um, we have to do things the right way. Amen. And we have to get out of that mud. We have to let things go, you know, give it to God. And yes. Just, Stop walking around with chip on our shoulders. That's what Amen. I got from the homework assignment. Amen. Hallelujah. Oh Lord, you you listen to that thing thoroughly because you everything you say, I remember now. I remember. Yes. Amen. Yeah. Gotta get rid and of that. That's, that's all I, yes, and that's all I have to say. Cause you know, I'm, the things that you talked about this morning and history and only get with everybody, Devin, some of my baby, everybody. I just um, feel that way, and I don't know. I just had like a glow that just went through my whole body, went through my yeah. nostrils, everything. So I'm just like, what Holy is going God. on? But then after that, I felt better. So yes. I thank and praise God that I'm continuing. And also last night, I, before I go to bed, I always say good night to Rashida. And yeah. I go in her room and hug her, we talk and stuff. And yeah. I'm really looking at her on your phone. Do you know she was reading the Bible and I didn't even know Rashida? Oh. Praise God. Praise I was so happy. <laughs> I was so happy. I Praise told her to go to God. the one in five. I told her to go to the one in five. Um, hey, guy, in the other yeah. one. Uh, <laughs> the, the one that me and TT like uh, yes. on James. James. Yep. 119. Yep. Yes. Yep. So that's all I wanted to say. And I, I feel much better today because I couldn't wait to hear Get on this call and hear the word today. And I had also talked to uh, Sister Crystal this week. Thank you for your help. Because that yeah. helped me a lot. Because I was going through something. But I'm yeah. all right now. And I feel yeah. good. And, and I'm walking good. And I'm keeping my head up. And I just feel good today. So y'all pray for my strength. Thank you. Hallelujah. Bless God. Bless God. Bless God. Yes. Oh, my goodness. That was so powerful. Yes. Because, see... When we practice the things of God, your children will start picking up on it. Hello, somebody. Just over the weekend, um, uh, uh, Gabrielle and Summer came over. Uh, so, because DP had a game and it was uh, closer to my house than where she lived. So, we, uh, my other son, my second born, was here with his family. And before they were leaving, I said, Well, while all y'all here, let's, let's pray together. Do you know, baby, summer hand, she went just like this, like, come on, y'all. Come on, let's pray. She had her hands out like she was ready to pray. And I looked and said, and she's only two years old, just turned two. But you know what? She's mimicking what she done seen. See, if kids don't see that stuff, they're not going to be aware of it. Hello, somebody. So she was like the first one reaching her little hands out to grab somebody's hand to pray. Ain't that something? Look at God. So we know her parents is doing that around her because she ain't seen that nowhere else. So, you know, that's why I'm always set stressing so hard. It starts at home. You got to be proactive in your household, not just when you at church. You got to be proactive throughout your whole life. Amen. Amen. Don't matter if strangers around, don't matter who around. Y'all know I go in, I don't care who's around, I don't care what nobody think about me, okay? 
I do what I have to do, which is the father's business, okay? If I bust out in the store and say, let's pray, then let's pray. Let's they uh, kick us out. <laughs> but other than that, I don't care if they kick us out. But if wherever I'm at, if the spirit is leading me to pray, I'm going to pray. Amen. All right. To God be the glory. Okay, uh, next. I, um, as I was reading Psalms 121 and I was listening to you, um, what I derived was, you know, when you said God measures us by our response to trials and tribulations. Yes. Um, and do we, when we're going through trials and tribulations, do we continue to worship him or not? Because uh, both God and the enemy are watching to see our response and how we how we handle hard times. Mm -hmm. God is looking for us to trust in him. And he's watching to see if we will trust in him when things aren't going our way. Mm -hmm. And I, I can't remember if, no, it was after I read the, uh, I read uh, Psalms 121 with you and listened to you speak. And then there was so much commotion all of a sudden in this place, you know, it sounded like it was coming. I don't know if it was coming from next door or above. And then all of a sudden I heard a few loud either bangs or booms, like they were jumping very hard or they were hitting the wall very hard. And then when I went into to, uh, the restroom, that's when I saw that things had changed a little but I just, I didn't, <laughs> this ties in, you know, I just thank yeah. God and I praise him, you know, yeah. regardless of the wickedness that's going on in this place, that's you right. know, regardless of the, tri the, uh, the problems that are being caused for me in this place, God mm -hmm. is, and God is still on the throne. He's all wise and he's all knowing and he knows the right time to move or to move me. Amen. You know, I, I don't want to miss up. So I just keep praying and I just keep looking to him to direct me and what yeah. to do. Then yeah. said, disconnect comes from God when we tune him out. Mm -hmm. God is not um God is not being slow about his promises. God is being patient with us for our sake. Yes. You know, he's being patient. <laughs> he's a good God. Yes. I'm so glad that he's my God. Amen. And I love him. He's being patient with us for our sake. Yes. And then, we, and then 1 Corinthians um, and 2 Corinthians. And you talked about uh, the sting that we get when we disobey God. Yes. You know, we feel the sting behind disobedience to God. Mm -hmm. you know, and, and that is so true. Yes. And Amen. I really enjoyed the study last night. I really did. Wonderful. Wonderful. This was coming out directly out the Holy Spirit. So it has to be a reason why he chose that one. Amen. To God be the glory. Because there's a whole lot on there he could have chose. But he chose that one. So amen. So God be the glory. Yes. And um, those scriptures was powerful, though, uh, from that um, sermon. Um, just like she said, the one about, um, I think it's in Second Peter, about um, sinning and his things, you know. Um, it, lead, it, it can lead to death, you know, a spiritual death or a natural death if we keep, if people keep sinning and don't repent. So, you know, those scriptures are something that we should hold very, very close to our hearts because they will help us uh, greatly on this journey. Okay. Anybody else? Um, I like, uh, I was also, um, you know, was from one Psalm 121, you know, um, and you had uh, talked about how the Israelites coming out of out of bondage, you know, and it kind of remind me of me, you know, how um on the village when I got on the village, you know, I had always um well first let me go back to something somebody was saying about the kids earlier, you know um I never really thought about it and talked talked to, talk to my um prayer buddy about it, you know, this is um 
you know, when I went, somebody took me to church when I was a kid in Puerto Rico. I was a, a young kid, like, and um, I went to this church. It was like a Baptist church. And the pastor, it was run, it was like a little small little church, little like it barely it would look like somebody living room some but but after i got out of that church that day i had to go wait for my mom so i went to the pastor's house and in his hallways in his one of his, in his house in his hallways i saw a little picture on the, a little picture frame on the wall and it was the lord's prayer right and don't you know that i memorized the, the lord's prayer when i was a kid and listen uh -huh. to this all my life from when i was after that I will say the Lord's prayer like um I think they taught me I don't remember exactly how that happened but they taught me to say they say we well, do you need to pray this so I said I would say that prayer when I went to bed for years mm -hmm. and you know I I never thought about this like that but listen I was a kid I did not know what I was doing I just knew that that's what I was taught from when I was a kid and don't you know that I think that that's how you know when you pray anytime you pray to God that is faith Yes. And I did not I did not know I was exercising my faith all those years without me mm -hmm. even knowing it. That was faith because I'm praying to the Lord Almighty. I wasn't praying to Allah, to Buddha, to no I wasn't none of that. And right. he brought me through. You know, I could have been dead because I lived in Baltimore and I went through some rough times. We was doing some crazy. We were robbing people out there, shooting. Mm -hmm. We was selling drugs and, and doing all kind of we was in clubs. I mean, I I, I God knows, but one thing I knew to say every time I got to my bed and a little as a little kid, just like autumn and and, and uh, autumn, I mean summer and, and and autumn, you know they they and they talk about some hey we're gonna get on Bible we need the holy oil you know autumn yes, that's yes. Monique's, Monique's granddaughter be saying that like yes. yo I need put that oil on me right yeah and so I somebody instead yes. you how you were saying Minister Kimmy like you got. That, like like summer grass in my head. She learned yeah. that from somebody. So yeah. I learned that prayer and I memorized. I know it right now, Spanish and English. So yeah. you know, that prayer brought me through to now. Yeah. God saw that little faith that I had. And he now I'm a full-blown Christian. I'm a mm -hmm. I'm gonna call by his name, Christ. A Christian. But anyway, going back, you know, that 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 goes to show you somebody in your life, you gotta. Like you always say, demonstration is part of, you know, talk is cheap, but demonstration, oh my gosh, somebody got to see, you know, our children got to see us praying, Our whatever they see, that's what they're going to do. They don't really that's go by what, what you do. say. You can tell somebody about the Bible all day long, but if you don't demonstrate it, that's a whole, that's what they go by what you do, not so much what you say. But anyway, yeah. Psalm, Psalm 121, okay. You were saying about coming out of bondage, and I love that because it goes to me. You know, I had some stuff that I had. I, you know, you know, the Bible talk about that a camel going through the eye of the needle. It's like a little door and a big door. It's mm -hmm. a big, humongous door, like a big tractor trailer could fit there. And then there's a little, small, teeny door on that big door. And they talk about the camel going through that little door. Yes. And you know, and, and you can't go in that door if you got a bunch of luggage. So what they yes. would do is take a bunch of stuff off of that. Oh. Mm -hmm. So he could fit through there. You know, that I heard somebody say that. So you can't get nowhere with all that bondage. It's like luggage. You got to mm -hmm. drop that off and able to go forward and get into spaces where God put you in your life. Mm -hmm. And you got to come out of bondage. You got to drop that. So yeah. that's one of the things that, you know, the Israelites coming out of bondage in Psalm 121. And then they had to come from far too. you know, look yeah. how. You know how, you know, like getting up this morning for worship, you know, that's like, man, you know, I was sleeping. I had my alarm going off and I'm tired. But I say, you know what? I have to keep on keeping on. Yeah. Ain't nobody going to do it for me. You know what I'm saying? Amen. And, and, and so, I, you know, you got to come from from that far for me was coming from a far, far sleep. <laughs> mm -hmm. get, and, you know, the people are going through some you know, hard times and, you know, and they, and, and the relationship with the Lord, how he brought them throughout them out, you know, out of yeah. all that stuff that they was in. And, you know, another part that you was talking about, um, that they were so disobedient and, you know, a lot of stuff that they went through that it was because of their own disobedience, but guess what? You know, that Psalm 121, let me see, I'm, I'm about to be done. I ain't going to take long, but I just wanted to, um, 
I did a little homework and I'm excited because, you know, I don't really do a whole lot of homework these days, but this is one of them Amen. I did. <laughs> hey, hey. Uh, I'm going to just, uh, let me see right here. Where is that? Psalm 121. I got it right here. Man, these little, uh, let's see, Psalm. Okay, songs of, songs of Solomon. Wait, that's not it. Psalms of Solomon. This thing is not showing me songs. Oh, here it is, right here. Psalm 121. It's a little teeny psalm. I love that about it, too. Mm -hmm. But it's powerful, you know. You know, God, God, okay. He said, and I will lift you up. I will lift my eyes onto the hills from whence come in my help. Woo. Yes. You know, I, I'm going to just, hey, look, my help coming from the Lord, which may have in the earth. He mm -hmm. will not suffer thy foot to be moved. He that keepeth thy, thee will not slumber. Behold, he that keepeth Israel shall not neither slumber nor sleep. The Lord is thy keeper. The Lord is thy shade. Upon thy right hand, the sun shall not smite thee by day nor by the moon by night. The Lord, the Lord shall preserve thee from the all evil. He sh He shall preserve thee, thy soul. The Lord shall preserve thy going out and thy going and thy coming in from the time from this time forth and ever and even forevermore. You know that right there, that number seven on one twenty one. I mean that's that's powerful. You know that's what I'm talking about. All them years, all them years. Mm -hmm. You know the word of God is so amazing because it's so true. It's truer than anybody. You can't trust in no man, no woman, no. nobody, no no whatever is out there. No angels, none of that. But you can sure trust in the Lord because look, He brought me all these years. I've been on this earth 54 years, and the Lord has preserved me. He kept me from Amen. evil. He preserved. Amen. He preserved my soul. You know, I ain't going out here trying to sell my life to the devil like a lot of people in Hollywood for, yeah. for some fame and some money, right, you know, right. and some sex and all that type of stuff. No, I kept myself. I I, I use what, you know, you got to be happy with what God give you in this life, you know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? And make the yeah. best out of it. <clears throat> and, 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 you know, and the Lord, he, he, he preserved my going out and my coming in. You know how many times I remember when I went to New York to go for the um the baby shower, it was a car coming at a hundred miles and I was straight to me and Monique. And don't you know that it was cars uh, he was coming on our side and the the Lord moved me to the right and the other car went to the left. But if he would have went to the right, we wouldn't have been here right now talking about this. Jesus. Jesus. You know what I'm saying? And he, and yeah. that's not the first time. It's so many times. You know, I've been, I mm -hmm. told you plenty of times people shot mm -hmm. at where I was at and the bullet hit right there. You know, so he said he preserved, he preserved that going out and that coming in. You know, making it yeah. home every night from work, you know, year after year for 50 years. I yeah. mean, how good is God? Yeah. And then yeah. and then he said, from this time for and even forevermore. You know what I'm saying? That and that's something that <clears throat> That's something to just meditate on right there, man. God's goodness and grace and mercy, his protection, his comfort. Look how he come for Monique on this morning. He got the grand, the grandbabies, right? Oh, you see all them children on the on the on the on the village on today, all yeah. over pictures of babies, people, babies on there. I Amen. mean, that's that's comfort. That's a blessing. Yeah. You know, yeah, God is, is he's God is so good. He bringing Hallelujah. he show his love through our family, you know, the family that we do have around us, and they, and you know, the babies are calling on God. I, I just thank God for that, and um, and that was my little study of the my little one twenty one from one to eight. My take on it. All right. Pray my Amen. strength in the Lord. <laughs> yes, to God be the glory. Yes, you know it's good that he uh he can even have a memory as a child doing anything uh, toward the Lord. There's many children that don't know nothing about nothing about nothing. Children, we got grown folk when the majority of the world grown people is lost in the source. Hello. So you know the kids are lost. If the if the adults are lost, the kids are lost, y'all, because they're supposed to get their ter their learning and their teaching from us. Amen. Amen. So if we're not training them up in the way they should go, what do you think is happening? The enemy's taking control of them. Just think about your life before you gave it to Christ. 
all the tricks he played on you, all the tricks he played on all of us. And we was falling for the okie doke. Why? My people perished because of lack of knowledge. We had not no knowledge of it. We didn't know no better. So now we know better, so we do better. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Snares of the enemy. It was his intention to keep us in bondage, keep us in slavery, Thank keep you, us please. indebted to sin, y'all. That was his plan for our life. But thanks be to God that he saw fit uh -huh. to Hallelujah. bring us out of darkness to this marvelous light where we oh, will flourish and prosper and be in good health. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Thank glory you, Lord. Hallelujah. We thank Hallelujah. You. Yes. Glory, glory. Okay, who's next? Ooh, we. Aubrey want to say something. Yes, Hallelujah. Ahead, baby. <laughs> I wrote it down in the book. Um, 121. The Lord himself watches over you. The Lord stands beside you as your protective shade. And I know that because I got to a car accident in the month of November in the month of November. I got to a car accident and I was in the front seat. We were in the left lane. The other car was driving to the lane. They hit us. I could have died, but I didn't. That's Amen. Because to God Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. He stayed beside me. Thank I was you, in the Jesus. hospital for two two, three days. Mm -hmm. Amen. That's still alive. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Give him praise. Thank you, Jesus. Thank yes, you. Ari. Yes, and you see, I'm so happy that you acknowledge that it was the Lord. It was nothing but the Lord that protect you. It was the Lord Jesus, baby. Don't let nobody tell you nothing different. It's always the Lord watching over you, watching over your family, your grandmother, watching over your mother. Watching over all of y'all, okay? It ain't nothing but the Lord, the goodness of the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. And it's so good that you know that at that age. I mean, to God be the glory, and she's grateful. She's giving God the acknowledgement. At her age, most kids are not doing that. They don't even have the mind to do that. So we Amen. just bless God on today for these young people's minds. Amen. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. That All right. Is, that your niece or your Hallelujah. daughter? That's her. Uh, that's her granddaughter. My grandchildren. Um, Look at BJ. Your daughter. Hey BJ, why are you looking at her like that? <laughs> All right. Anybody you else want to do your homework? Amen. I'll go. Um, I thank and praise God for it because um, listening to it and then I had to go back and find it um, in my journal. And then um, I always take notes, you know, as we are um, studying the word of God on, on these services. And I thank and praise God because um, it was Psalm 121. It was Peter 3 and 9. It was 1 Corinthians 15 and 58 and 2 Corinthians 4 and 16. So 1 Corinthians 15 58 read, so my dear brothers and sisters, be strong and immovable. Always work enthusiastically for the Lord. For you know that nothing you do for the Lord is ever useless, right? Amen. And then you come over here to 2 Corinthians 4 and 16. And that read, that is why we never give up. Though our, though our bodies are dying, our spirits are being renewed every day. Amen. For our present troubles are small and won't last very long. Yet they produce for us a glory that vastly overweighs them and will last forever. So we don't look at the troubles we can see now. Rather, we fix our gaze on things that cannot be seen. For the things we see now will soon be gone. But the yeah. things we cannot see will last forever. Hallelujah. That's Thank the you, word Jesus. that was read and, 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 and preached on October 8, 2023. And I thank and praise God for that because Sister Kimmy asked us, what did we get from that? And how did that impress upon our life? And I started thinking about it and I started thinking, you know, you have to believe the word of God and not 
just say you believe it, but an active believer. And when when you go through troubled times, a lot of people like to glaze over it and say, oh, troubled times. But what was that troubled time, sister? Can you can you expound on that? Can you explain to us what was your troubled time? Well, yes, I can. When my troubled time came and the lady told me I don't work for the company for eight years. And I thought when God blessed me with this job, this was going to be my retirement job. Right. Mm -hmm. So I put everything I had into this job. Right. So the job laid me off. Right. But then they came back and said, hey, we give you another position within the company. Take that position. It's at the height of COVID. So you don't get thoroughly trained. You know, they training you virtually. Mm -hmm. Very hard position. You working hard, working overtime, you stressed out. Then the lady going to tell you after you done been in the position for a year and a half, they're going to let you go. And you saying, well, it's not all my fault. I wasn't complete. You know, I didn't, you know, you got to give me some time to really learn this. Don't right. you know, it don't matter how good an employee you are. If your numbers ain't matching the numbers that they want to portray because they want to look good on paper always. They never take into consideration the backdrop. You know, the backdrop and the back scene of what's going Amen. on. They just want them numbers to look good on paper. Don't care how this disrupts your life. Because I could think back when I was a manager and they try to send me in to fire somebody. That's I'm not firing that lady. Because she, in, in my opinion, she ain't do nothing wrong. Y'all trying to fire her over something y'all didn't even tell her. And now, because she doing something that y'all don't like, you know, y'all want to fire her over behind. So you go fire yourself because I'm not going to do it. You know, Amen. that was the type of manager I was because why? People got households. People got families that depend on them. They don't take, right. none, of that. They take none of that into consideration. And I no. said that that lady let me go and I had tears in my eyes at 50 something years old. And I said, you know, you're going to let me go up. I ain't never missed no work. You know, I come to work and do the best I can. And you talking about, you know, firing me? Mm, like mm, mm. My vocabulary, thinking about being fired because that brings a lot of shame because I was a hard worker. Yeah. I sat and I had to brew in that. I had to brew in that. And that was the longest God had ever allowed me to go unemployed. And I thank and praise God for that because it was a humbling experience. Because the, the one time that I did get let go, um, back when I was um living in Virginia, I found a job in a matter of months, you know. Yeah. So I didn't, I didn't feel no sting with that. But I thank and praise God because sometimes we have stuff in us we don't even know that's in us. And God got to work that pride of life out of you. Mm, God got to work lying. that self-righteousness out of Man. you. You know, and I thank and praise God. Amen. Was Amen. Humbling, Amen. Humbling Hello, somebody. Woo, yes. have to face paying a mortgage uh, for $1,400, uh, not a mortgage, a rent. $1,410 a month when you're looking at like, Lord Jesus, where this going to come from? Unemployment ain't but $300 a week. I'm like, Lord Jesus, what am I going to do? <clears throat> I prayed. I got on my knees, anointed my head and started praying and started fasting and God ordered my steps. He said, remember when so-and-so told you this, call them up. Get that number. I said, okay, okay. I'm going to call them up. I had a friend who told me we, cause, cause my husband was mi military. I'm still a military dependent cause I didn't remarry. So I still Amen. get a lot of military um, benefits. She said, call the Red Cross. They have financial funding. Cause you know, at the top of COVID, um, a lot of places got a lot of federal funding. Yeah. She said, call them. They, you know, they giving out loans for hardships, right? Called them people up. They did a budget, you know, what your monthly budget is. Cut a check. Sent it, sent it Western Union. Okay, that's good. That was after I done exhausted my 401k because I was out of work for nine months. Right. Then when I called them people, so the unemployment ran out in January, right? So then the people the people started paying my rent and household expenses like in February. Um then after that, I was I was like, oh Lord, I don't want to have to call these people every month. I had to call them people about four times, y'all. Four times. <laughs> Four times. Every, every, every single time I call them, anybody who knows that goes to get any kind of assistance, it is one of the most humbling experiences because people make you feel like you're a DOG. You get mm -hmm. on there and they be like, what you doing with this and what you doing with that and da 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 But you got to humble yourself. Why? Because you know you need it. Why? I couldn't be too proud. It wasn't just me in the household. It was my grandkids and my daughter. 
you know? So I was like, okay, whatever they asked me, you know, I just humbly answered. Whatever, That's you know, right. I couldn't get no attitude. I needed help. And right. I thank you, praise God for that, because that will forever be impressed upon my heart. Amen. You know, I, I couldn't be too proud. Couldn't That's be too right. proud, you know? So That's right. People, and what I would call the lady said, well, when you think you're going to get a job? <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, like, you know, I was like, oh, okay, <laughs> yeah, I'm working. I got the resume out there, and then, um, uh, thank God I had three good ones, and then I got to the last one. You know, she was like, well, we can't do this as a loan. I mean, as a as a grant, we'll do it as a loan this time, and you know, you could pay it off over time. And so I said, well, thank you, Jesus, because I needed the help. And I Amen. think when after I finished going through the ringer, y'all, God blessed me with a job on in May. So Thank you, Jesus. God bless me with a job. I got a good job. I'm able to Thank pay you, my, my, my expenses and everything. And I said that to just say, you know, God gonna take you through it because he do just like sister um um uh, Jennifer said, you know, God wants to measure us by our responses when we go through trials and tribulations, right? During that time, I had to unpack them boxes and get my house together. And I thank and praise God that because he blessed me with a beautiful home. And I unpacked everything and set up the stuff and got my surroundings set up around me to show gratefulness for everything that he had done for me. And the, and the, and the time, I could have been a person that became very bitter. I could have became a person that um got angry with God because there's a lot of yeah. people who get angry with God when he don't show up like the one, two, three. But I didn't right. do that. I didn't, and right. So what that does is that gives me hope. Whenever another tri child of tribulation comes, I will remember the day Amen. that I was out of work for nine months. And I will Amen. remember the day when God touched those establishments to bless me with monies and resources to pay my bills. I will Amen. forever remember how God came through for a black woman, 56 years old, to take care of what she needs to take care. Because you know it's somebody. hard out here for us. It's hard yeah, out here for us. It is. And I Amen. Thank you, praise God. He Hallelujah. stepped in and he made a way. Hallelujah. Out of and no I way. And praise God that out of every sin he blessed me with. Hallelujah. I gave 10 back. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. <laughs> and I thank and praise God for that on today because it was nothing Hallelujah. but the goodness of Jesus Amen. that yeah. I remembered. If he gave me one, I'm giving him one. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise God Glory. for that. Hallelujah. Because can't nobody Jesus. teach you thank like you, the Holy, Holy Ghost. And that will forever Hallelujah. be part thank of you, me. Jesus. That will yeah. forever be a part of me because of what I went through. And I yes. know that God ain't through with me yet, but that's part of my story. That's yeah, part man. of my journey. And that's what you draw strength on. And that's where your faith comes from. When yeah. you think about it, yeah, I went through it. But God never left me. And I That's went right. through it, and God blessed me in, in spite of it. So thank you, Jesus. Mm. Hallelujah. Thank All you, the Jesus. glory belongs to you, Jesus. And that's yeah. what I got out of your teaching. When you taught it, Lord, in October, I didn't know I was going to go through all of that. Right. I didn't know mm. that mm. you was going to mm. ask me to remember all of that. But I thank and praise God that you did bring Glory. it back to my memory. And I will forever praise Hallelujah. your holy name and serve you with all that I got in me. So I thank and praise God for that on today and the lesson. Y'all continue to pray my strength in Jesus. Amen. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen, Sister Crystal. Look, y'all, this lady sitting next to me. She said, why you keep waving your hand? I said, because I'm just praying to God I can't move my hands right now. <laughs> <laughs> glory, oh, glory, look, glory. She, moved, she moved her hand for you. <laughs> yeah. She said, you moving your hand for me. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> to God be the Amen. glory. Amen. To God be the glory. Yes. And I thank you for that, uh, your experience, Crystal, on your homework, because that is what that message was really about. The way that we show up in our tribulations, the way we handle it, it's not only God watching us, y'all, it's the enemy too. So you mm. have to be, this is what the Holy Ghost is saying. When you're going through hard times, you have to be mindful of this stuff so Amen. that you will be able to get through it the right way and get Amen. something out of it. Like she said, you know, a lot of us, let me tell you, every single believer, nobody's exempt. You always going to go through something that's going to humble you because that's the only way God can get us to be humble, to get yeah. us to surrender, to get us to get out of pride. 
thinking, oh, I'm too good to do this and I'm too good for that and I don't need food stamps and I'll never take welfare. And this, Amen. That, and Let me tell you something. When God bring you to your knees, okay? Mm-hmm. Like Crystal said, the Red Cross place, she, and again, she was being obedient and didn't even know it in her test and trial because she was using the world's resources. Ain't that what Jesus said? Hello, somebody. Yeah. Yep. They yep. use the world's resources. That's right. And so that's what she did. And you see, as long as she did what she knew what to do, it was right from the word of God and being trained and being coached up here in this village all these years, she was using all of that stuff to stay obedient to the Lord and understanding while I'm going through the trouble, man, it's something God is trying to tell me or show me. Instead of worrying about what you're going through, you need to be asking God, I surrender my spirit right now. Whatever it is you're trying to tell me, <laughs> is, you got my ears are open, right? Lord. My ears yeah, are you open. Speak, Lord, thy servant heareth. Have a dog. Amen, Sister Kimmy. Ooh. We have to understand that. These things are vital. When you want to know, why am I going through this? Why is this happening to me? You know, how do I deal with this? You have to remember these things. You can't get out the, the you done failed the test. Now you got an attitude with God. Now you don't know this. Now you don't, now you got a stinking, thinking attitude. Because you're not doing what you're supposed, what you're being taught. When you're in the trial, when you are mm. in the hard time, mm. humble yourself. Mm, mm, mm. Just humble yourself before the Lord. Amen, Lord, amen, amen. whatever it is I'm going through, I don't know, but I here I am, Lord. Speak to me. Speak to me, Holy Ghost. Speak yes. to me. Let speak, me know speak, where I Holy need Ghost. to be, what I need to be doing. You got to open up your mouth. You can't mm. keep going through trials and tribulation and woe is me. Well, all you're mm. doing is moaning, groaning, and complaining. You're not learning anything from it. So the odds are it's going to come back around to you again. Mm. we have to understand this stuff and I'm so glad that Crystal you had that experience because it lets you understand you know no matter where I'm at in life it's not going to always be comfortable when we serve in the Lord some situation and you know for those of us who always had comfortability when we was living in Egypt living in high horses Big old palaces, pushing Lamborghinis, pushing Range Rovers. Look, when you give your life to Christ, it's no guarantee you're going to keep living like that. And if the day come and you ain't got no Range Rover no more, you better say to God be the glory. He give it and he can take it. So if he, he take can. it, to God be the glory, that means he's going to replenish me with something better. And it ain't always Amen. materialistic stuff. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. The knowledge of the Lord, you cannot buy it. Like Peter said, silver and gold, I have not, but what I do got, I give it to you. I give it to you. I give it to you. Stand up and walk in the name of Jesus. Amen. Get up out that mess. Get up out that stinking thinking. Rise up. Rise up and be Amen. the child of God that he has called you to be. Stop sitting down, looking around, looking for something to happen. Rise up, speak thy Lord, your servant here. Wherever you want me to go, whatever you want me to do, I'm here for it, Lord. I'm here for it, Lord. Yes, Hallelujah. Lord. thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hey. Hey. Yeah. We have to understand that because it is nothing but the, the child's come to perfect us in the spirit, y'all. Yes, Lord. If there's no situations in your life, no hardship, <laughs> no downtime, no sadness, no sorrow, you will be a messed up, jacked up person. Mm, mm, because mm. you will be looking around like you done done everything for your life for yourself. Everything mm. you own, you think you did it. You will have a big head, pride of life, and ain't got nothing. Hey. On your way to hell. Mm, mm, mm. On so the way, to, with the big yeah. head. I know that's right. Ooh. Yeah, we have to understand. Oh. 
This is a whole process of God uh, 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 building us, rebuilding us, y'all, to become the child of God so we can make the rapture. So if you want to make the rapture, you better be applying this stuff to your life. You better be doing it, not just talking about it, doing Mm. it. Mm -hmm. Because God don't go off of words. He go off of what we do. What are we producing? What are we producing? Bad attitudes all the time, popping off all the time. No, we're not producing that crap no more. We're trying to do it a different way. And Mm -hmm. I just want to say one thing. When I spoke to Sister Crystal the other day, um, she called me. And um, I I don't know if she felt my vibe. I don't know. But I was feeling some kind of way that day because I've been struggling with this manager, on, uh, you know, my supervisor uh, on the job. But she told me, she said, Kamiko, don't raise your voice. Just lower your tone. I said, okay. So I lowered my tone, y'all. And yes. it just worked. So it worked. I just thank and praise God for that. Thank you, Sister Christmas, because that really Hallelujah. helped me the other day. Amen. Hallelujah. And see, this is what the village is all about. Helping one another. Bringing it, you know, bringing help to your sister that's, you know, being challenged with something that she may pop off. She may, you know, split her wig over. But <laughs> to interject and let her know, now remember, Kamiko, we doing it a better way. We that's ain't right. gonna I know that, but I'm saying, what I'm saying is, it's not about, it wasn't about popping off what I was doing. I was holding it in and I wasn't saying anything. And mm-hmm. that's what was getting to me. And then mm-hmm. when I talked to Phyllis, she told, well, Sister Crystal, she told me, Kamiko, just um, before when she told me to starve the situation, that always in my mind. But then when she told me to um, just lower my tone voice, yes. I said, you know what, I'm going to try that. And I lowered, I took my voice all the way down the other day. And that it worked. Amen. Mm-hmm. But the key so, is... I got to well, keep I, doing it, though. Yes. When I told her that, it's because the Holy Ghost taught me that. Because in this corporate America, um, your flesh wants to scream loud. But mm-hmm. it's your spirit you want to be heard. So yeah. when you when you lessen yourself, when you physically reduce yourself, you allow yep. God to operate on your behalf. You yep. don't have to scream it to the mountaintop. I told you, mm-hmm. as that lady get louder, you get lower. Okay? Yep. And then she's yep. going to be and wondering, what's going on? Why? Now the Holy Ghost going to move in. And, and while she's mm-hmm. trying to figure out why are you lowering your voice, it makes her realize what a, what, what, what a butt she's being. So yeah. you, right. that, see, it, that's what the Holy Ghost taught me. Yeah. Right, and that's what I told her. Don't hold it in. Say what you got to say, but say but, it real low. Right. Yeah, say right. it real low. Yeah. Hey, and, guess, and guess what you're doing mm. when you lower your voice and do what you the instructions you gave her? Exactly what the Bible said. Resist the devil and he'll flee from you. Hey, yes, man. Yes, yes, and that's yes. it in action. Yo. That's it in action. That's what it looks like when you put it, put it to work. But Less listen. of you, more of Jesus. Hey, Miss Miss Kimmy, look at this. Look at this. You know the Bible say the meat will inherit the earth, right? Look at what the what the um I looked up what the um meek. What it means. Listen to this. It means thank you so much. Humbly, patient, or quiet in nature, as under provocation from others. Yes. yes. Yeah. That's what Amen. that's that's it right there. And then Amen. he said that meat will inherit the earth. So yeah. if you doing that that stuff right there that, that, that yeah. Phyllis and and, and Kamiko and all of us when we practice that meekness, guess what? Yeah. We will inherit the earth. <laughs> yep. Amen. We will overcome Amen. that. Yes, Amen. To God be the glory. It's, it's new, but it's working. So Amen. I thank and praise God for that because I've been struggling Amen. with that, y'all. Just telling you. I just be keeping my mouth shut. I don't say nothing, but inside, oh my God, I'll be feeling like I want to go crazy. I That's the imagine. Holy Ghost in I action. Yes. So I thank and praise God for all of that. Thank the you. Holy Ghost came in through strong, boy. He said, yes. Why and meek, and you will inherit, you will be ruled over all of that situation. Amen. <laughs> well, thank Amen. y'all. Thank you so much. Thank no, you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> to God be the glory on this morning. Oh, my goodness. What a. Oh, Jesus, I felt the fire of the Holy Ghost in my stomach. Hallelujah to Hey, Jesus. look, one last thing I wanted to say. I looked on my notes because I've read some of it. It said, you said this, Miss Kimmy, back in that time. I thought, help don't come from no man. Don't just say scriptures. 
you got to believe it. And then when I flipped over to the other side, I said, our help come from the Lord. When you truly believe that, you won't flip flop. No matter what comes our way, we have to look to God for our for the answer. And that's yes. what you said. <laughs> yes. Amen. That's what we just, all of us talking about today. Amen. Wasn't that it? Yes. 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 Great. Everybody did so great today on your homework. I do want to just let y'all know I'm so proud of each and every one of y'all. Um, me being the teacher, I see growth. I, I just see growth in Jennifer. She just start coming up here. <laughs> Hallelujah. No. So the thing is, you know, it's necessary on this journey. It's necessary that again we stay connected to one another, to the to the village, uh, to the body of believers. Um, Monique, did you want something? You you didn't do your. Did you want to do yours? Yes, ma'am. I'm gonna be um brief. Um, okay. Um, yeah. you know, I I just wanted to hear hear everybody's um on take take on what they um got out of the lesson on October the 8th, which was my birthday. Amen. And, and Amen. It was Amen. My birthday. And, and, you know, I just thank God for the lesson that we had on that day because, you know, back in the day, um, instead of being on Bible study, um, I would have been out in the club. Right, right. You know, on my birthday. Yes. But how, you know, fast forward to, um, um, 2023 you know god had it set up where he had the best plan for my life amen um the scriptures that we read was um was talking about how your help come from the lord amen and then we was talking about how um sin, um, um how god took the sting out of you mm -hmm. understand me? And I can think that it where it, it, it could be another way, you know, um, with me being out there in them streets. And um, but God saw fit for for to fast forward to 2023 and for me to be right there listening yeah. to the word out of harm's way, being yeah. protected by him, yeah. you know, um, um, being filled with the Holy Spirit. Amen. And, and, and instead of the, the old man out there doing all sorts of evil. So, Amen. you know, um, to me, what I got out of that lesson was God's plan is the best plan. Yes. First of all, he um, had me repent. Be ye baptized and receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. He gave me the word for me to read that word and for it to um, get into my mind so it can get into my heart so that I can hide it in my heart so yeah. that I might not sin against thee. Yes. It, it changed my perspective. Right. Living. Yes. Because Amen. If you don't change your perspective on living and let go and let God, then you going to um hell with smoking gasoline draws on because yeah. my our minds without the Holy Spirit is not working, not working right. for for the life Amen. that God wants us to have. See, God has a plan for us. Amen. And, you know, it's amazing because you know, um, you don't see that when you don't have the Holy Spirit. Amen. You can hear it. You understand me? You can acknowledge it, but you got to demonstrate it. Amen. Amen. So until you get to the part of demonstrating, then you you, you just, um, um you're not doing anything. You just, Amen. Um, you just listening, you taking in, but you, but um where the action part come in, um you're failing God. So um I just thank God that, he took my feet and he placed it on the path of righteousness. Amen. Because even, even look, when you seeking God, you 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 looking, you looking, you looking, but um um when your feet get planted on the path of righteousness, amen. It's when you start living. Amen. amen. So all of that stuff before then is it, it, it um I was um had one foot in. One amen. foot in. Yes, yes, yes. But when you come on on the righteous side of it and start reading you know fasting reading your word when you start acknowledging that god is the creator is when you start 
living. So I Amen. just thank God, Amen. I just thank God for um, you know, placing my feet on the path of righteousness, teaching me how to um um when I go when I dip into my own mind and started doing it um the way God want me to do it, that there's repentance. He even give you a way out. I yeah. tell you is amazing. He give you the word, give you the Holy Spirit, the comforter. He give you the blueprint and he give you a way out. So it's Amen. no reason that we should not make the rapture because our help comes from the Lord. Amen. Amen. In the Lord in Jesus name. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 Hey. Hello Hallelujah. somebody. Praise hey. Hallelujah. Praise hey. Hallelujah. Hey. Hallelujah. It's all about demonstrating like she said. Glory. And glory. Thank God. For Jesus, um, without him, he is so marvelous. He's so special. And each and every day we are supposed to, as a child of God, try to learn more and more about him, the, the God that we serve. Amen. Because the more we learn about him, the more we will obey. And the more we learn about him, the easier, easier our walk will get because it's, it's, because when you know when you first meet somebody, you don't know like um a boyfriend or girlfriend when you're dating, you don't know everything about people. It takes time. It takes time. Even though some people jump in these fat these relationship too fast, and you see what happened, the results behind it. You know you have to take time out with the Lord. Period. Amen. So you can Thank get you, to Jesus. know Him. It's the same thing with dating. When you're dating somebody naturally, physically, you got to take time out. You cannot. Be talking about that show, boo. And you don't even know <laughs> the first thing about the person background. You don't even know the person was locked up in jail. You mm. know, you don't know right. none about these people. You have to date, ask questions, get to know them. Okay? Yes. So, Hallelujah. It's the same thing with the Lord. You know, you're not going to just know him like that. You get to know him by reading his word, by Amen. practicing his word, practicing Amen. his law. And you know, the thing like him, um, that really shocked me when she said, when she said, I'm just doing it. And I said to myself, I'm just going to do it and see what happens. You see? You see what happened? You have to do it in order to get the right results. You got to do it in order for God to work it out for you. So, you know, you just do it. Don't always be thinking about stuff. You know the right way to do it. Do it the right way. Hey, do it man. The right way. And then you will see. You will see a lot of us don't seek or we don't do it the right way. We got to do it the right way. You know, whatever scenario we, we're dealing with in life, you got to do, do it the right way, handle the situation in the right way, and then you'll get the right results. Hey, Amen. and some you said too that stood out, just you just said you get to know him. You just said that. And guess what? What's the first thing when, when we um meet the Lord? He say, he gonna say to people, uh, he say, um, get it's to some people not us but he say get uh the away from me i i know you not but guess what we getting to know him so who he gonna say i know you i know you sister uh sister yeah. kimmy i know yeah. you sister crystal yeah. i yeah. know you sister monique yeah. i know you brother B uh booker I yeah. know you, brother, uh, brother Ruben. I know you, sister Kamiko. I know you, yeah. sister Jennifer. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. He, he said, "Come on in here with me. Get it. Go get you. Um, go get at that table right there. We are about to have a nice feast." <laughs> yeah, and that, and that's what the scripture means. Like you have to take to to know the Lord. You have to take time out with the Lord. There's no way you're gonna know who you serve unless you take out time with Him. And that's exactly what He means in that scripture. Depart from me. You workers of sin, I never yep. knew you. Because if you, if God, the only way God can know you personally is you got to reach out to him. You got to keep being available to him. You understand? Mm -hmm. He's always available. But are we available? Are we making ourselves available to him? That's the question. You understand? So when people, you know, don't want to go to church, don't want to read the word, don't want to do this, mm -hmm. don't want to do this, mm -hmm. don't, mm -hmm. they only hurting themselves. Right. They're in their own selves, y'all. Wow. And, and then they wonder why life is so rough. Why is my life mm. so rough? What's going on? Why is this? Mm. I can't find the right man. Can't find the right woman. Can't find the right job. Stuff is going wrong because they're not doing, they're majoring in the minor. You mm. need to be majoring in the things of God. That's Amen. That's going to get you to heaven. That's Amen. it. Not all that foolishness. Amen.
All right, so to God be the glory. Yes, amen, Sister Jennifer. So, Monique, did y'all want to go ahead and sing a song? Uh, yes, please. I was about to put that in the um chat, yes. Yeah, yes. okay, y'all want to go ahead. Thank the you, music Jean. ministry can sing for us, and while she is singing, hey. Chris, can you put the cash app in there? If anybody want to pay your tithes and your offer or offering, um, send it to the cash app. Uh, Chris is going to put it in there. Sing it, girl, right. sing it. So, okay, so mo uh, the music ministry will take it over now. All right, to so God be the glory. This Amen. um song you guys probably know it. Um, we're um gonna sing this song, and it's amazing because <laughs> uh, we got a little surprise um in the song on today. So I'm gonna just get right down to it. Okay. okay. The name of the song is Every Praise. Every okay. praise is to our God. Yes. Every word of worship with one accord. Every praise, praise. every praise, praise is to our God. God. Do, 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 do. Hallelujah to our God. God. Glory, hallelujah, hallelujah. to our God. Every praise, praise, every praise is to, is to our, our God. God. <laughs> yeah. dun, dun, dun. <laughs> every praise is to our God. Mm. Every world of worship with one accord. Mm. Every praise, every praise is to our, to our God. God. Yeah. Dun, 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 dun. Sing hallelujah. hallelujah. To our God, glory, hallelujah, hallelujah. is to our God. Every praise, every praise hey. is to our God. Oh, God. Sing, baby. Hey, sing God, our Savior. Savior. God, our healer. healer. God, our deliverer. deliverer. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. Yes. God, my Savior. Savior. God, yes. my Savior. Healer. Yeah. God, my healer. God, my deliverer. Yes, he is. 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 Every praise. Is to our God. Hey. Every word of worship with one accord. Every praise. Every praise is to, is to our, our God. God. Hallelujah. Dun, 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 dun. Hallelujah. Hey. Yeah. Hallelujah. Oh, wow. Yeah. That was beautiful. Beautiful. Yeah. Beautiful. Yeah. Amen. Hey, that was amazing. And to God be the glory. I thank yeah. God because she wanted to sing this song and All with right. me. She yeah. came with this song. To God That's be her favorite the song right there, too. Yeah. God be the glory. Yes, the God be the That's Hezekiah Walker. Yeah, Hezekiah <laughs> Walker. Beautiful yeah. job. Beautiful yeah. job. Amen. Amen. Beautiful I'm proud job. of you, girl. You I'm keep proud on of singing you. unto the Lord, okay? Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Keep on using your voice to sing unto the Lord. Amen. You Amen. So beautiful. I know you put a smile on the Lord Jesus' face. Yes. Amen. Amen. She Amen. put a smile on my face. Yeah. All her ideal. All her. Glory, yeah. glory, I thank glory. God because Ooh. he touched her mind. She says, Grandmama. I don't want to come to your house. She said, I want to come to church on, on Sunday. I said, okay, I'll send you the link. She Amen. said, no, I want to come to your house. All right. Said, oh. And then she came, she said, and hey, um, can we sing on Sunday? I got a song. Yeah. I know, that's right. She was ready. Oh, God oh, I God. said, God be the glory. Amen. Amen. That is so beautiful. One of my favorite songs. This is my favorite song. Thank yes, you. Yes, Amen. Hallelujah. He even got Praise she got God. a favorite a favorite gospel Ooh. song. Look at God. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Is she eleven? Um, I remember. She's twelve. I, I just heard twelve. She's twelve. 
Okay, well, her, and her and my granddaughter Vay is the same age then. Yeah. Mm -hmm. right. mm -hmm. So God and be the glory. I'm so happy that you came on and you joined the village this morning with your grandmother and your, your cousin Dolly. <laughs> and don't be no stranger because we do this every Sunday, okay? Amen. All Amen. Right. Um, she don't have a um a phone, but um anytime that she says you know, um, get come get me for church, and I will. Yes, yes, amen. amen, amen. Yes, you make sure when you want to come, you let your grandmother know so that she can come pick you up, okay? And we're gonna be praying for you that God will use you in school and around whoever you around in your environment. That He gives you an opportunity to spread His word with your friends, and you know what? You just have a sweet spirit. You just have a sweet amen. spirit. In you. And God is with you, okay? And don't let nobody put you down. Don't let nobody bully you. And if mm. somebody do put you down or bully you, you tell your grandma so we can put the prayer on it. Yes, there you go. I just want to there say that go. I do go back to school on Tuesday, and I know I'm going to have a great week. I have a good day. At school Amen. Every day. So school just easy for me, and I'm trying to stay in school, and that's what I will do oh, because God. Yeah. Amen. Yes. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Um, okay, Monique, you might be Moses, but I think that's Joshua. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Joshua took over. <laughs> All right. All right. It's we the one in every family. We it's need the one of God. Hallelujah. Yeah. Amen. Amen. To God be the glory. Oh my goodness. Wow, yes. That's amazing. So confident. Like she's talking with authority already. Can you imagine she get the Holy Ghost? She'll be up in Yeah, the, you uh, need to pray over her life, exactly, because, yes. um, you know, God is using them at a young age, but, you know, just like you say, um, where God is seeing what we're doing, the devil is seeing it also, you know, so yes. we have to pray the blood of Jesus over her to keep mm -hmm. her, you know, Amen. That, she, that she will be able to do the will of the Lord when she gets to that point in her life. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. Yes. To keep her right now because Amen. I, I can already Amen. see the hand is on her, upon her. Amen. So Preserve all her. you got to do is keep her name before the Lord and we'll yes. keep her up, lift it. All of us will keep her name before the Lord. Bless her, Lord, that she will resist, right, the snares yes. and the temptation, temptation of the enemy. Amen. Yeah. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Yes. All right. So I'm talking about honey. I'm telling you, your life will start really, you know, the children, they pay attention to us, believe it or not. They pay, mm -hmm. they, they may start off again. Like I said, my kids, you know, they, they, when my brother, when I started uh, helping him with his church, that's the initial time that I started taking my last two to church, my last two uh, children, but they were little boys, but you know, just that environment alone, you understand, will follow them, okay? You got to have that stuff of God around them, okay? Because when a lot of time when it's exempt, it's easier for the enemy to come in and do all kind of havoc with their lives, okay? So what we're saying here on the village is, you know, we want to always keep it before them. My sons wasn't used to going to church, but huh, did that stop me? No, ma'am. From taking them? No, I wasn't even saved. But I was going to reclaim to give my life back to Christ. So they had to get accustomed to it because it was it just wasn't no other way. <laughs> you're gonna be here. So you're gonna have to be quiet, learn how to sit down, stop talking. My um my baby boy, he would talk out loud in the service. My brother would be preaching. He'd be like, Uncle, hi, Uncle <laughs> Trenton. I used to be like, Oh my goodness, oh my goodness, I gotta take him out. I gotta take him out. So I would take him out and be like, you got to whisper, you know, and that, and you know what guys, it's all about training the kid, train them up in the way they should go. It's all about letting them know there's certain places. You can't just be talking all out certain places. You got to learn how to sit down and behave. You know, these kids now just run them up because ain't nobody disciplining them. You know, taking your child to church is discipline. Because they had to sit down. He couldn't be just talking all loud, all loud and stuff. He had to learn. So he had to be taught. Amen. Amen. To God be the glory. All right, villagers. So I thank God so much for the service on today. What a wonderful uh, passage that was, that message that Amen. everybody had their homework. I do. Everybody got a <laughs> Amen. Nobody failed. Uh, everybody Amen. did what they're supposed to do. 
Hallelujah. So to God be the glory on that. And yeah, because learning is about participation. In order to learn, you got to give back. You got to you got to let me know how much you learn it. And how what is that demonstrating just the way you just did? Amen. Amen. Not just hearing it, but applying it, thinking about it and putting it into action in your own life. Amen. All and, right. Amen. Yeah. And, and and you know who who um would have known that you know, I know the scriptures is for all every part of your life, but my help comes from the Lord. I'm, Amen. I'm going through a, a life changing situation as we speak, and I tell you this scripture right here. You know, you know your help comes from the Lord because that's where your hope comes from. Amen. So I, I just thank God for this lesson on today once again. From and it's amazing because it's from my birthday of last year. Yes. Amen. And, and and a life changing situation this year, but Amen. my. My help still comes from the Lord. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Like uh, uh, Mordecai told Esther, perhaps you were born for such a time as this. So perhaps uh, that message was sent for such a time as this, Monique, for what Amen. you're going through. Amen. 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 Like she, like uh, Mordecai told Esther, look, he had to check up. Because in the beginning, she was like, well, you know, I can't go to the king. You know, mm. I don't, I, you know, I have to make an appointment. I cannot just go to the king with no appointment. And yada, 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 thinking she was all right because she was the uh, queen and she was in the palace. OK, but what did Mordecai write her back and tell her? He said, if you sit up there and don't open up your mouth and do not say nothing to try to save the, the, the Lord's people, including yourself, he said, don't worry about it, because guess what? Your, your whole household will die. God and God will raise up another way out for us. You understand? If you don't want to do it, God will raise another person up and they will surpass you. You understand that? God ain't playing. If, if you don't want to do it and you know he's calling you to say whatever, you know, do whatever he's called you to do in the kingdom. When you keep playing with it and you ain't doing nothing with it, I know this, y'all. This is facts. God will overlook you. His spirit will move from you and he will go to mm. somebody else and he'll raise mm. another person up and that Dang. person will just get saved. You've been saved for 10 years and that person will outrun you in one year. Mm. They will accomplish so much for the kingdom of light in one year than what you accomplish in 10 years. Mm. And not be the one people hate on. The ones that produce. The producers. You, if you mm. notice, people that don't produce, don't nobody hate on them. It's always the ones that's produced. When they out there living like, you know, the, uh, the jiggable, nobody's certain. <laughs> okay? But when they see you bringing your fruits, you're producing something, that's when they come for you. Okay? So, same thing. God don't want nobody who can't produce nothing for him. Right. Every time he want us to do something, that person to do something, it's always an excuse. Always an excuse. Always an excuse. Right. Always an excuse. You you know, it got to come a time in your life where it has to become a part of your life. So excuses are not even acceptable. They ain't no excuse. We right. pray such and such time. <laughs> you understand? That's you it. mandate that stuff in your life. My, uh, You know, yes, it takes time, but it should not take that much time for you to realize. I have to mandate my prayer life. I got to mandate, you know, certain things don't I don't allow in my home. You understand? In my mm -hmm. environment. What you do in your house is your business, but certain things ain't going to go down in my house. You understand? And whoever don't like it, they can bounce. Okay? Right. So, fact of the matter is, you have to take control of your own atmosphere, y'all. God is not going to do that for you. Amen. You have to take control over your wherever you at your environment, your household when you're at work, at work, you know, wherever you go, you gotta take, you gotta take control of that atmosphere, or else the atmosphere will take control of you. Mm. Amen. And um, uh, can I piggyback on that right quick? Yes. Um, I, I'm gonna be quick. Um, but I understand what you're saying about that situation about take control of your atmosphere, because um. It's amazing. My grandbaby wanted to pray down here. I mean, wanted to do the service this today in the living room. Well, um, at one point I used to be in the living room all the time. Yes. And, and um, um, it was an incident where I had to take control of the atmosphere because 
um, I'm in, I'm on prayer. I'm in here doing my Bible study and prayer and pray in church and stuff and the service and, um, uh, and, and individual wanted to be all, you know, loud and walking back and forth. And, you know, I mean, just doing, you know, the they think I, had, mm -hmm. I had to take control of the atmosphere. I said, Hey, take, get out, get on the front porch. Don't come back in here. I'm a lot door but um i had to do that yes it caused the issue but guess what god took control of the atmosphere Amen. because i was willing to to do my part so Amen. i had to demonstrate what i wanted Amen. That's right. and it has been peaceful ever since hallelujah Amen. thank you Amen. yes because your atmosphere is not going to change unless you change it you got to take control over certain things that's going on in your home. Certain You can't control people. I said the atmosphere, meaning the attitude of it, meaning, you know, if I'm a child of the light, you understand, I'm promoting the things of God in my house, okay? Not the things of the world or the, of the devil. You understand? So, you know, even with teenagers living with you, there's a certain, like my son, I told him, you cannot play no rap music in here cussing. You better get the one that don't cuss. Okay, so even before I even gave my life back to Christ, y'all, I used to uh, monitor my kids like that. Like, you're not gonna bring all that cussing up in here with that music, no, sir. You're not gonna be bringing no little girls, sneaking no girls up in here behind my back, neither. You know, you gotta take control of your atmosphere, period, point blank, or the atmosphere will what? Take control of you. You be somewhere in the back room, can't even pray, can't even say hallelujah. You know, you got to take control of your atmosphere, meaning you got to pray a lot in your home. You got to recite scripture. You got to let that gospel music play. You got to clean it out, clean it out, clean it out. Okay. Because if you don't clean it out, it's going to, the enemy is going to try to come and overtake that, that territory. And you know, no, sir, not on my watch. Okay. So these are things that we have to do. I've been, I've, most of y'all know that on here, because I've been teaching this for three years. You know, the tools that you use to clean out your house and things of that nature. All right, villagers. Amen. Bless God on today. What a wonderful. Oh, amen. this service was so uplifting. So yes. uplifting. Yes, yes. Yes. Praise God. So does anybody else have anything else to say? Um, we do have um, what's today? Sunday. So Tuesday will be uh Bible study at seven. Just if you can't come, um, that's fine. If you're at work, that's fine. Um, if you can, just put put it on and just listen. No matter if you're out and about, you can still just put it on and listen. You know, listen. Um, if I you do can. wish I could come to Bible study on Tuesday, but I have to go to school. So uh, I'll, ask, I'll ask my grandma to take notes for me. Okay. All right. <laughs> no problem. Yes. Amen. To God be the glory. Monique, Moni, you going to have some homework on your hands. <laughs> Hmm. You got some homework dealing with Ari. She's serious. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. That's some good, good homework Lord. right there. Yes, that's some good old homework right there. Now you. Oh, I did wanted to... to ask you something. Um, what yeah. about the um? Are we are we gonna do the um? The in remembrance of Jesus Christ. Are we gonna do the supper again? Yeah, but that's on Resurrection Sunday. No, I mean like you know how sometimes like. Yeah, I, well, I don't know how, but I never remember some people do it like, you know, like yeah, we did not it, just we, once a year. No, we do it more than once a year. What's the last yeah, time? Yeah, that's we did what it, I'm saying. Yeah, we could do it. We could do it. So, well, I, you know, I just thought that's about not that. Until um, April, I think April is the resurrection, but we could do it. Yeah, we could do it. I mean, what do you suggest we do it? What, like, what Sunday? Oh, I, I'm just a hush. I'm going to let the Holy Spirit talk. Mm, mm, mm. Amen. Yeah, well, yeah, we can, let me pray about it, and I'll come up yep. and see what Sunday. That's what's up but right there. But we can definitely do it, because that is something that we don't want to forget, and, you know, Passover is coming up, too. That's in, um, that Passover is in, I believe it's in March. What are we in, January? What month are we in? Yeah, February. February. Okay, today, is today the first? Oh, no, no. January. That's right. Okay. We still at the end of January. Okay. Yep. Yes. Okay. Well, yes, I'll go ahead and I'll let you guys know what we will do um, as far as um, the what 
we call it the, uh, yeah, commemoration of Jesus Christ. They call it the Last Supper, you know, historically. But um, yeah, we can do that where we have the wine and the bread. That's what you're talking about, right, Deacon? Yes, ma'am. Okay, yeah. The last He's talking meal. about communion. communion. Communion, yeah. Yeah, I couldn't think of the word. Yeah. Thank you, Sister Crystal. Communion. Yeah, we'll do communion. And then, you know, um, as time go on, you know, we'll do it more, uh, more often. But we normally do it more than once a year. But yeah, we'll go ahead and start doing that more often. Okay, anybody else have anything to say or any announcements to make? I'm just so happy about these teenage kids in the village. These kids in the village, man, God is showing up. But what he's saying the last day, he's going to pour his spirit out of, uh, among all flesh. So your daughters and sons will be prophesying, dreaming dreams, old men. I mean, all, it's just prophecy coming to, coming to pass. Amen. Right. Amen. All right. So until we meet again, we'll see each other back here on Tuesday. And um, Moni, do you have any dates for us, like for your mom's service or if we wanted to send flowers? Yes, um, not at this time. Um, okay. We, we still getting some other things together first. Um, okay. Um, maybe I'll know something by the end of the week. Okay. Um, we, we, it was a long process with this. Yeah, I can mm -hmm. imagine. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. Well, no problem. Um, just keep but me I'll updated. But I'll keep you guys updated. Yeah, yeah let, let me know. know. Okay, yeah, I would like to send something myself. Out. Yeah. Okay. Thank okay. you, guys. Okay. Let me know. Let me know, Monique. Thank you so much. Okay. Yes, to God be the glory. All right. All right. What an uplifting service on today. I thank God for everybody coming out. Praise and worship was very, very powerful this morning. It was very, very, yes, very, very good. So Amen. whoever wants to go ahead and give us our prayer benediction, go ahead. Did Ari want to do it? Ask him, Monique. Go ahead. I just want to say thank you for the prayer. In Jesus' name, uh, bless y'all. Bless your souls. Have a wonderful day. And God loves you. And he's protecting you. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Amen. Oh, to Amen. God be the glory. Hallelujah. Yes, hallelujah. 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 Nice, please. Sorry, beautiful <laughs> prayer covering us. <laughs> and in Jesus' name, you be covered, and we pray that you make all A's, and we hey. pray that, you know, nobody bothers you in school, that you will be a light among darkness over there where you at in school. People will be drawn to you. Why? Because they see the light of God in you. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Amen. To God be the glory. All right. Yes. Yeah, so wonderful. And she sang her little heart out to the Lord today. <laughs> and I mean, it is just so wonderful. No one in the Lord says, suffer other little kids not on not to come unto me. Like, don't don't think they're too young and say, yeah, you know, they don't know that. No, let them come. Let them come. Amen. Okay. All right, villagers. I love everybody. Until we meet again, everybody be safe. And remember, always make time for the Lord. Amen. In your life. Okay, so in Jesus' name, let me um, uncord this thing first. <laughs>